Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can move your disc channel on your Wii U's Wii menu. We will be editing one of the files that are responsible for the order that your channels will be displayed in. So, in order to start out, you're going to want to download this package that's in the description of the video. It's called movediscchannel.zip, all you gotta do is download it. After that, you're gonna want to make sure they have two programs installed on your computer. One of the programs is HXD, and the other program is WinSCP, so you're gonna want both of those installed on your computer. If you don't have both those installed on your computer, you should be good though, because this package does have the installers on there, so all you gotta do First thing you're going to want to do is obviously extract the file and then you're going to want to make sure you have both these programs HXD and also WinSCP. If you don't have them, you can use the setup files right here and you can download them on your computer. Now you're also going to need to have custom firmware on your Wii U. If you don't have custom firmware on your Wii U, please go to wiiu.guide and check where your options are in order to get custom firmware on your Wii U. You actually don't need your virtual Wii to be modded, you don't need the Wii menu to be modded to do this. All you're going to really need is for your Wii U menu to have Kobu Hakshi or for it to have Hakshi or for it to have Mocha. You're going to want one of those three exploits running. The fastest exploit to get running is Mocha, so if you want that running on your Wii U, make sure you go to Wii U.guide in the description, it will be linked. Make sure you have custom firmware all up and running on your Wii U. But yeah, make sure you have that because you're going to need that to run FTPU. So what we're going to want to do next is you're going to want to see which FTPU you have. If you have Mocha custom firmware, and I believe if you have Hakshi, you use this one, and if you have Kolbu Hakshi, this is the one that you use. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to take out your SD card, and you're going to want to put it inside your computer, <laughs> and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Wii U um, folder, then you're going to want to go to apps, and then you're going to want to choose the correct FTPU. So in my case, I use Kobo Hakshi, so I copied over the FTPU Kobo Hakshi. So if you, all you're going to need to do is drag this one over here, and you should be good. You should have FTPU on uh, installed in your homebrew launcher. But yeah, that's the setup part. Make sure you have both these programs and make sure you have FTPU on your Wii U because you will need that in order to access your Wii U's NAND. Now, before I get started, I will make a note. FTPU Everywhere is a pretty dangerous program to be running on your Wii U. If you delete random files that you're not supposed to, then you will brick. So don't delete anything you're not supposed to. We're only focusing on the virtual Wii NAND. And if you do end up messing up your Wii NAND and do something stupid, all you really need to do, if you accidentally delete a system file, all you're going to need to do is update your Wii U, but just try and stay away from messing up any NANDs on your Wii U. Just follow the instructions in the video and don't go around deleting random stuff. Just please, just making a note, because I don't want anyone bricking their Wii U and getting angry at me in the comments for that. But um, yeah, that's basically the setup part. Alright, so now you're going to want to head over onto your Wii menu. Now this doesn't even have to be modded like mine is. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the me channel. Now we're going to be using the me channel as a reference point in this video. We're going to be using this in order to basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching the IDs for both the me channel and the disc channel. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take your me channel and you're going to want to plop it down where you want your disc channel to be. So in my case, I want my disc channel to be right here. I think it looks the best right here. So move your me channel right there you're going to be wanting to switch both of those IDs when we get to um, hex editing. So make sure this is where you want your disk channel to be. That's actually really important, so make sure that's where you want your disk channel to be. Now, after that, just head on over to your Wii U menu. Alright, so now that you're at your Wii U menu, make sure that your SD card is inserted into your console before you launch the homebrew launcher. But now that just just make sure you access your homebrew launcher basically go into your homebrew launcher and in your list of apps you should see fdpu everywhere so click on that and click load 
All right, so now we're going to be in FTPU, and it's going to say that it's listening on your IP address. So what you're going to want to have to do is um, you're going to have to open up WinSCP on your computer. Um, just launch the program, and it should look something like this. You should see a little login thing. I have it set up since I access my virtual Wii NAND and my Wii U NAND. A lot I actually have it set up so I can just log in but you can just log in like this you don't even need a username or a password all right so we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to head over to this folder called SLCC MPT 01 then you're gonna want to go to title then you're gonna want to go to the bunch of zeros and then a one then you're gonna want to head on over to bunch of zeros and then a two then you're gonna want to head on over to the data folder and you're gonna see iplsave.bin. Now this is the file that you wanna keep and this is gonna be a very important file that you're going to need. This is basically the file that has the arrangement of all of your channels on your virtual Wii menu. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take WinSCP and you're gonna see your desktop right here and you're gonna drag this right onto your desktop Click OK. And now it will be on your desktop. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to open this up with your hex editor. And this won't normally appear like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click choose another app. Scroll down. It might appear here. You might not even find it here. So you're going to want to go to look for another app on this PC. And now you're going to want to head on over to where you installed the program originally. So I think it was in program files. It was right here. Now you go right here, the EXC executable. Click that. And you should be right inside the hex editor. So now that you're inside the hex editor, we're going to want to essentially switch both the disk channel and our me channel that we used as a reference point. So the me channel over here is H-A-C-A. -A. The title ID is spelt out through this. <laughs> um, and this is our disk channel right here. It is right here. This is our disk channel. So essentially what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to switch these. So copy this and open up notepad on your PC or just copy this onto somewhere on your PC where you can just throw it for a little bit. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to take this and you're gonna wanna copy this row right here. And then you're gonna wanna go back to HACA and you're gonna wanna copy this right over here and paste it. Then go back to notepad, copy this, go on over here, paste that. So it should be H-A-C-A -A in your first slot right here. And then, not over just yet, you're going to have this little checksum right here. And we're going to need to have to, we're, we're going to have to change that. Um, we're going to have to regenerate this. So basically just click backspace, highlight the whole entire row, click backspace, and then click, click that. And then you're going to want to do control S. You're going to want to save what your work so far close that out and you should see a dot back file this is a backup that the program creates for you um i don't know if it's like a setting or anything that you can adjust but that's that's just a backup file it does create a backup file so you don't even have to worry about creating a backup file um in the beginning you can close this out you will not be need this anymore and then you're going to want to go into the description of the video i linked OnlineMD5.com. You're gonna to want to go here, and you're gonna to want to upload your IPL saved up in file. And then you're gonna to want to you're gonna see your checksum is right here, right there. <laughs> um. So yeah, that that's that's your checksum. And what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna copy that. Go back to your IPL saved up in, and then go here at the end and right here you're going to want to be right here not in this right not in this ask guy corner um you're going to want to be right here and then you're going to want to paste that and you should be good your file has now been edited to where your disk channel is where you want it to be so we're going to want to do now you want to copy this 
you're going to want to open back up that folder you were in in WinSCP and just paste this right here. And you can overwrite it and you should be good. That's basically the whole entire hex editing process. All right, we're back at our Wii menu. Let's see, moment of truth. Let's see if our disk channel actually got moved. All right, let's see. And now it's moved. You can see your disk channel is now in the location that you wanted it to be. Thank you so much for watching this guide. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But your disk channel will be fully operational now and it will still work. Um, the disk, it, it might look a little weird if you had a disk in there. Like it might edge on over a little bit over here. But it's not really that big of a deal. Um, it's only really made to be in this corner because there's a little disk that appears like a buy it if you have a disk inserted. But I don't have a disk inserted. So I'm good with it. But yeah, that's how you move your disk channel, basically. Thank you so much for watching this guide. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments section. But uh, yeah, I would like to talk about my Twitch channel really quickly. I stream at twitch.tv slash datazemnus. I am a variety streamer, and I also speedrun Kingdom Hearts. That's one of my like favorite series of games. If you guys are interested, feel free to drop a follow. I would really, really appreciate it. We have a great community over there and we really do have a lot of fun. So I stream at 7 p.m. EST and I aim for four to five days a week usually. So yeah, if you enjoyed this guide, feel free to check me out on my Twitch channel. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.